I feel like the scenario that's developing is probably calculated to bring the worst out in me. <laughs> and then of late with Tebow, it's just, it's, it's not good for me right now. Because if I continue, I know, I know what will happen. I don't want to be put in a situation where I'm going to have to really do something on camera that I'm capable of doing. <laughs> That if I get in a fight in there, my son will become a target because they know that he's my son. And I promise you that will happen. I'm the man in the sun. I'm out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. We were all sitting on the E in grub time, and I sat down, Matt sat down, and there was some, a, a bag of cloth there, so I put it on the floor. Tebow's friend accused me of throwing his clothing on the floor. Apparently there's a code in jail that you don't touch another man's bag, you especially don't put it on the floor. He goes and he snitches on me, to Tebow. And then he talked to someone, whomever, through the door. My son's next door. So I'm worried about my son. This has turned me upside down. This has almost destroyed me. I know I'm a target in one way or another. And if I fight with Tebow, I fight with any of them, my son's an immediate target. They've got buddies on my son's side. This is where it's going to be ugly. Yeah, I mean, it's just safety. Your son's safety. I have to. We gotta get rid of this guy. If I choose not to, I have to attack. If Tebow goes, I stay. It's as simple as that. And if somebody doesn't move him out, I will tap. I'm telling you what's going on. If you're going to have a hole in the tank, where we at? He got one. I pride myself on it, my ability to think and assess situations I did not know well <laughs> to the point where I was something to do more of a friend because of the yeah. I'm no dad, I'm just disgusted. It is absolutely inevitable that something is going to go down and it will pull me in. This is my roommate right here, Andrew. My son then, by that association, will be under mortal threat. I guarantee you, I would take Tebow out. And then I would have hell to pay. The whole thing, it's bothering me so much, I gotta go. Being in that pod any longer becomes, I think, a mortal threat to my son. Given the tendency to violence, my reaction will be response in kind. I don't want to act that way anymore. I want Andrew to be safe. So I'm falling on my sword for my son. So you want to? I am conflicted because I know how much he wants me. But I also know that what I'm doing is for him. Are you ready to say goodbye? Saying goodbye to him. Whew. 
That will be the most devastating moment of my life. And it will be. My whole life. <laughs>